A lot of dividend growth focused investors are all asking the same questions a lot this year. The question I'm talking about is why is the SCHD ETF underperforming so much in a time where the S&P 500 has had a decent comeback if you look at the year to date performance and the fact that over multiple different time frames in history SCHD has always remained green. But as of right now it still is not recovering fully and or not appreciating in price the way a lot of investors including myself would have hoped for. But in this video we are going to dig deep into the SCHD ETF's current performance and not only see what's truly going on but why I think that at this current trading level this popular dividend growth ETF could be offering a once in a decade buying opportunity for long-term investors like myself that are willing to weather the storm. Now stick around, drop a like down below, and subscribe if you hold on to SCHD, listen very closely. So first off, for a quick 10-20 second recap, for those of you that are not aware of this ETF, the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, known as ticker symbol SCHD, it's a high quality dividend growth ETF that has a basket of stocks, around 100 different stocks in total, and the ETF's objective is as follow. The fund's goal is to track as closely as possible before fees and expenses the total return of the Dow Jones US Dividend 100 Index. And along with that, a straightforward, low cost fund offering potential tax efficiency, the fund can serve as part of the core or complement in a diversified portfolio, and most importantly, the fund tracks an index focused on quality and sustainability of dividends. And for the investors out there that not only love dividends but also love growth, the SCHG ETF has been the perfect ETF over multiple different time frames for them. For example, over the last 12 or so years, SCHG is up around 172% and that's not even including dividends. But the year-to-day performance is dismal at minus 6.2%. And I say this because during the same time frame, the S&P 500 is up around 12.25%. And I'm not necessarily saying that the S&P 500 needs to trade exactly the same of that of SHD because let's be real here. They of course hold a basket of completely different stocks. But that being said, the fact that year to date SHD is down that much, where the S&P is up quite a bit, is definitely making some investors worry, but making investors like myself think that there could be a once in a very long time buy an opportunity to, to buy into some SHD shares before the price skyrockets up to the upper 70s once again very soon. Now looking at the SHD ETF's performance over the last year or so, 65.96 being the low, so at one point not all that long ago, back in September you could have purchased SHD shares for $65 and some change, and the high being 79.49, which is quite a range considering this is a relatively low bid ETF. Now once again I always say to investors, when in doubt, zoom out. Look at the max time frame chart for SCHD. There's been very, very far and few times historically where SCHD might dip down, say, 5-10% at most, and then from there it trucks on back to new all-time highs. So because of the most recent reconstitution and the overall top 10 holdings that as of right now make up this ETF, because remember the SCHD ETF does track an index made up of a basket of stocks that just have not been performing all that well this year. Take for example something like AbV, ticker symbol ABBV. This stock is down 8.22% year to date. And for another example, look at Coca-Cola, another one of SCHD's largest holdings within the ETF as of right now, down 11.07% year to date. So if you go through and you look at holding by holding, because right now there's around 100 different holdings that are within the basket of stocks that SCHD tracks, it's going to be quite obvious on why SCHD is being dragged down in price, and it has a lot to do with the top 10 holdings. But now here's the silver lining. For some investors like myself that are a bit younger, I'm currently 31 years old, and I do plan on holding my SCHD shares within my portfolio currently forever. I don't plan on selling one single share of SCHD as of right now. Of course, things can change and probably will change in the future, but the Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF is going to be a staple in my portfolio from this point on until further notice. Now that being said, the fact that SCHD is still trading in the low 70s is offering a 3.7% trillion 12 month dividend yield with also some healthy dividend growth ahead. Now SCHD has a dividend growth rate on the 3 year CAGR of 11.44%, 5 year 13.69% and 10 year 11.11%. And the reason I bring up the fact that I'm currently a relatively younger investor that owns around 400 or 450 shares of SCHD right now, and the reason being on why dividend growth is so important to me is because if you have enough time on your side, and if you hold on to an ETF or a stock for that matter, that does have the potential to keep paying more and more dividends as time goes on, which as we see right here, the SCHD ETF has definitely done so. Theoretically speaking, in the next 10 years, if I'm paid double or triple the amount of dividends just for holding onto the asset, that is going to make me a very happy and hopefully a very rich investor. 
But just as I know, just because something has happened in the past does not mean that it's going to happen in the future when it comes to any investment, so just keep that in mind. Back in 2014, SCHD was paying around 25 27 cents per share per quarter. Now, 10 years later, we're looking at 66 cents, 65 cents per share per quarter, which is a massive increase over the last decade. So I say that all to make the point that even if SCHD does trade somewhat sideways for the next year or so, once again, being a younger investor, I really could care less what this ETF does over the next year. Even the next two years, three years, it doesn't really make a difference. But what does make a difference to me and what does sort of give me a silver lining is the fact that if the ETF continues to pay me more and more in dividends over time, that's going to allow me to have more cash flow paid out to me every single quarter and is going to allow me to invest into more shares of SHD and or more shares of different ETFs or stocks across the market. Most likely, I will continue to buy mostly SHD as of right now moving forward because I am looking to be a bit more of a passive investor. But with that all said, I don't understand on why I wouldn't want to grab more shares of this high quality dividend growth ETF that has long term high quality performance on multiple different time frames. And on top of that, pays a nice starting dividend yield of around 3.7% with massive dividend growth on top of that, which means we are only going to get paid more and more in the future. At least we can hope so. Now, the last thing that I wanted to do is chart out SCHD next to the S&P 500 and look at their performance as far as total return goes on multiple different time frames because it seems like a lot of people have quickly forgot how well this ETF has performed historically. And that being said, I know that historical performance does not indicate future performance. And I know that the holdings within the SCHD ETF, the top holdings especially, are dragging down the ETF quite a bit. But that being said, during the next reconstitution, because of the sophisticated stock picking methodology that the SHG ETF follows, I think we could see a lot of higher quality names get added to the index and we could see some of these layers get taken out. But just to remind everyone on how this ETF has performed over time. Now, looking at the SHD ETF next to the S&P 500, one thing's for certain, one of these two is going to pay you much more cash flow along the way. To be specific, the starting dividend yield for SCHD is, is even over double that than the S&P 500. So if you happen to be someone that favors cash flow along the way to use for bills or to do what I'm doing as of right now at least, to reinvest into more ETFs or more stocks, the SCHD ETF even next to the powerful S&P might be a better option. But that being said, over the last month, we're at almost a minus 5% as far as total returns, so this is dividends and price return included, we're pretty much tied over the last month. Over the last year, SCHD is basically flat at zero and S&P has pulled ahead at almost 6.5%. Now year to date, it's been pretty ugly, I'm not going to lie. The SCHD ETF is down 3.7% just about and S&P is up 12.13% year to date. But over the last year, we start to get a little bit closer. SCHD is up 9%, where S&P is up almost 18%. And over the last three years, a longer time frame. Remember, guys, zoom out a little bit. Look at things on multiple different time frames. Although, like I've said for the third time, this doesn't mean that it's going to happen again. But just zooming out definitely helps change your perspective. Over the last three years, SCHD is up 42.45%, where the S&P is up 28%. And this is with price return and dividends included for both of them. So just that fast, zooming out around 1,100 days, and things have really, really changed. Now, over the last five years, SCHD is up almost 58% and S&P is up 47%. Now, 47%, 58% over a five-year time frame, in my opinion, both are very impressive. But just for argument's sake, you can see that the SCHD has performed very, very well historically and most likely will in the future. At least we can hope so. So there we have it. Those are a few of the reasons on why I think the SCHD ETF could be offering a once in a decade or once in a long time buying opportunity for dividend growth investors that are interested in having exposure to this type of ETF and also for those investors that are willing to hold for a while. But when it comes to the SCHD ETF, I want to hear from you guys down below. Are you still buying shares of this one or have you had enough and you're done with the SCHD ETF from here? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on it and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.